At five, we're working developing news in the trial of a Providence police detective accused of police brutality. Just moments ago, prosecutors wrapped up closing arguments in the trial of Robert DiCarlo. The jury will get the case tomorrow. As we've been reporting all along, he's accused of beating a handcuffed suspect during an arrest that was caught on camera. Eyewitness News reporter Walt Buteau is live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom with the developing details. We heard two very different versions of this case today during closing arguments. The defense pointing the jury toward the man who was hit instead of the man blamed for hitting him. The surveillance camera has night vision, so while the violent arrest looks relatively bright on TV, the defense again reminded the jury using this picture that it was a moonless, dark night when Detective Robert DiCarlo struck Louis Mendonca, who ended up with an eight-staple gash on his head and another wound to his face. Weren't able to see that he Carlo testified this week he did not know Mendonca was cuffed blaming it in part on the lack of light in that parking lot. Let's do some fast forward. As he did in his opening statement, his attorney also argued again that DiCarlo had to make a decision on what to do in seconds. We've had two and a half weeks to do that because that's how we have to do it. But he had just a little over two seconds to make some sort of decision. And while DiCarlo called his strikes and leg sweeps at the handcuffed suspects disgusting when he testified, his attorney argued DiCarlo's decision to engage in the arrest was heroic. Mendonca's decision to struggle, something less. Whose actions that night can best be described as selfish and cowardly. What he did, what you saw the evidence, he put so many lives at risk. Tonight at 6, the prosecution points the jury back to that videotape. The details coming up. With the Mobile Newsroom in Providence, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.